Welcome back. This is another quilting video. I'm not feeling great today. I've got a little bit of a migraine going. It's been carrying on for a few days. I can't really do too much quilting and I can't do a whole lot of sewing until my migraine goes away. So I'm thinking I'm just going to sit and do a little bit of knitting. And what goes great on a rainy day when you're not feeling great but a lap quilt. So I'm going to show you some of my lap quilts that I've made over the years. I hope you'll enjoy them. This one is a nice one. It's very easy. It's just a two, two fabric quilt. It's, um, it's another one on point and it's got that nice little Got a nice little four patch in the middle, and then a bigger block here, so you could definitely do some fussy cuts or you know whatever you choose. But if you look closely, you'll see that it's another one of these um, puss in the corners. You've got the darker, 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 darker. So you've just got a nine patch with the dark in the center, and then next to it, you've got another nine patch with the lights. Isn't that cool? It's just it's just nine patch, but it's the way it's um, cut in different sizes that makes it really cool. So here's a here's a more bigger look at it. This is one of my favorites. Um, I made another one like this, gave it away as a baby quilt, and the new mother really really loved it. Wish I'd taken pictures. Why didn't I take more photographs back then when I was making a lot of quilts and giving them all away? <laughs> so here's another one that's that's pretty basic. This one's a little bit smaller. Um, and this one is, um, if, an, if any of you know me, you know I, I love blues and greens. So here's a here's a blue and green. And they both have nice nice borders attached the um blue quilt and this one it was it was the thing to do back in the day you know you'd do your quilt and then you'd put several borders or a nice big thick one and it gave you something to quilt into so you can see a little bit of the of the quilting this gorgeous fabric love the fabric but it's just got this little star and then in the center it's got a bigger star, a little bit more involved. And I think, I think this was something that I just, um, I had some graph paper out and I just kind of drew and this is what came of it. And so I did that large star and then I put the smaller ones in the corner, added a border, called it a day. Don't know if you'll be able to see any of the quilting. Here's the back. And again, here's the, here's the front. So this one's a nice one. It's a nice, um, it's a nice light quilt. And I've got a little bit of a, um, near my stairs, a little bit of a, you know, overhang. And I like to hang quilts there. This is a nice one to just drape over. You know, it's got a nice, when it's, when it's hanging over a railing or something, it's not too heavy. It's, um, it's, it's a good size for that. So this is more, um, again, utilitarian, but more, um, more decorative at the moment, which is also good. Here's another two color quilt, um, but this has more than one fabric in it. Um, it's got a cream. It's not a white. It's more of a cream. And I've got these different color greens going. Again, you can see my hand quilting. This one's, this one's, this one is, um, pretty well hand quilted. Let me, um, show you the back. You can see all that hand quilting and it's been washed a lot. It's fluffy. It's, oh, it's nice. I like it. And this one is, I guess it's a, a basket, basket quilt. But I really, really like this. I did the, 
I did the baskets in the middle and then I kind of gave them a darker darker border around in this nice dark green it's it's floating the the baskets are floating on a dark background but then I immediately go back into the light so that the overall feeling is a nice light quilt so this is one of my favorites I've been trying not to say that they're all my favorites Let's be honest, every quilt you make is a favorite, and um, there's one quilt that's not so much one of my favorites. It, um, I'll show it to you sometime. It was made out of French General fabrics. I, I got a jelly roll, and they looked beautiful reds and um, blues and, you know, all of my colors. But when I opened the jelly roll up, I found that it was predominantly more of a brown, and I'm not a brown person, but every time I tried to do something with the reds and the blues, it just didn't work. And so what I ended up doing was I went with what the quilt needed, which was brown, and never really loved it. It is in the um, the cat carrier box, so um, I've got very fond memories of it because I had two older cats and when they went in for their final vet visit so to speak you know they were they were there with the quilt and now I bring Phoebe into the vet and she's on the quilt and you know it's just something nice it's familiar it's from home it keeps them warm in the winter um, and the quilt is very special to me but I don't look at it all the time and the brown doesn't bother me anymore so there you are my last quilt is um is um sort of a sort of a springtime quilt. Here's another one that's amply quilted. This is from I believe it's from an Eleanor Burns. I used to love watching Eleanor Burns. Um I did I did some Irish chains, I did Burgoyne surrounded, um I, I just did a lot of her quilt in a day quilts and I I believe that this was one of them as well these nice stars I love the pink and the green um, I especially love this border this was a fun one it's not hard so you've got um I did this in another quilt as well I did it in um I'm I'm just moving my fingers in is what I'm doing. Um, I did this in sort of um, a scrappy look in a different quilt, and it takes on a whole different feel. But basically, you've got half square triangle, but this one is split in two, so that you've got the white and then you've got the pink. And what you do on the next block is you reverse it so that you've got this nice chain going along. Yeah. So I'll give you another look at this one. And in the middle, in the middle, I've got some hearts. Don't know if you're getting those. I've got some hearts quilted in the middle. So this is another one that I that I love. Yeah, so that's it. That's it for my um get a better view of this. I just think this fabric is just so lovely. Look at that fabric. Isn't that pretty? Um, yeah. So these are my lap quilts that um, I'm going to hunker down underneath one of them and wait for my migraine to go away. Um, on my own quilting front, I've got um, these. These are the log cabins that are done. These log cabins just need an outer, another another um, two sides done in the darker blue. And then we'll have this many. And I'm telling you, I'm, I'm getting close to the time when I can sew them together. I, I, I've been really wanting to start joining, but I'm holding myself back because I want to look at it all. I, I don't have a design wall. 
I still do things on the floor. Um, so I want to lay them all on the floor and tweak, you know, and see what needs to go where. And if I need some with, um, with more dark blue, some with more light blue, I might need to make a few extra blocks and switch things around. But I like, I like doing things on the floor and then you go up halfway up the stairs and you can look down upon it and sort of squint. And I also do that trick where you um, take a photograph, uh, you know, on your, on your camera, you just take a picture and put it in grayscale and then you can see where the darks and the lights lie. That's always fun to do. But yeah, so for now, I'm going to bid you farewell. Um, I was afraid that I was going to run out of quilts. And what am I going to show you guys? And what I'm finding is <laughs> I've got a lot of quilts. So no need to fear. There are more quilts in this house to show you. And I will. Um, but these are, these are my favorite lap size quilts. Lap size is a, is a good, I love the big quilts. I love in the middle of winter having them quadrupled over and really snuggling and, you know, everybody wants a bed quilt, but the lap sizes are great too. You can store them. They don't take up as much room. And sometimes in the off seasons, in the springs, the falls, maybe you're, maybe you've got a summer cold and you're just feeling horrible. A lap quilt is great. Um, for that and again if you've got a house with you know one of those big um, double story walls they're great to hang quilts on you know they make enough of a presence but they're not heavy they're not as heavy as a tapestry or a big heavy picture and they they use up the wall space and add color but um, I'm rambling at this point so um, thank you for looking at my lap quilts um, I appreciate each and every one of you who has watched, um, one of my quilting videos. Take a look at my knitting and my stitching videos as well. Maybe you'll find something that you'd like to look at on those. Um, quilting seems to be predominantly what, what is in demand these days. Um, I love it. It's never left me. Um, I, I made my first quilt in 1985. It's a long, long time ago, and it's ebbed and flowed over the years. I lived for a time in Florida, and I did still do some wool knitting, but not all that much. I predominantly sewed quilts when the kids were younger, and um, and that was nice. And then I, I guess I figured I had more than enough quilts, and I, you know, went back to the knitting side, and now I'm kind of in the stitching side, but... Um, Everybody likes to see the quilts. So I've been drawn into the quilting world again, and all it takes, all it takes is to either get out a favorite quilt or get out your sewing machine and you're hooked again. <laughs> and um, another thing I wanted to mention was the other day, if you're watching this um, when it's a current video, the other day on Fat Quarter Shop, the, the quilting series that Kimberly has on Fridays. She showed the fabrics that are up and coming. So if you're at all interested in Christmas fabrics, um, fabrics that are coming out more in August time frame, give that video a look. It's very inspiring to see um, which direction the, the new fabric designers are going in. So I will see you soon. Keep on with your quilting. Never stop quilting. Never stop stitching. Um, do what you enjoy and have a really, really great day.